how did you start the gym and why? Uh, the gym is a culmination of my, my past experiences. The gym was my way to put it all together and combine my love for helping people. I was at Pepperdine and I was going to be a banker or an entrepreneur. And my father said, the one thing I don't want you to do is work. All right, I'll take care of you, but you must give me straight A's. You must deliver straight A's. And as long as you do, you don't have to work throughout college because I want you to get these grades so you can be successful. So then, like I, you know, like me being me, I had three jobs. Did you really? <laughs> I had three jobs. <laughs> I was working at the student center. I was working security. I was actually babysitting. Mm. Um, and um, he found out. My sister told on me. And so we got into this big argument, not because I was working, but because I didn't tell him. Mm. And I wasn't honest with him. I hid it from him. I didn't lie, but I didn't tell him. And he said, look, if you want to work so bad, um, you can come work for me. I was his manager for anything he did. I took care of it all. He'd show up and smile. After I graduated, got this grand idea to become a boxer. So I got in the gym and started training, hopefully to lose some weight. That's partly what it was all about. You said that you were 285 pounds. Yeah, yeah I was almost 290, wow. 287 to be exact. How tall? And 6'4". Wow. I'm 6'5". And I wanted to lose weight, so I combined that and trained for eight months. And then right before I fought, my dad said, whoa, 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 I'm not going to let my, aunt, my manager just hop in the ring. We'll organize an amateur fight. None of the amateurs would fight me. So he said, look, why don't you just have a pro fight? At least the guy's going to show up to get his check. And so I said, yeah, right on. And he said, okay, let me train you for six weeks. And six weeks turned into eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, so on and so forth, a year. And in 2009, I had my first boxing match. Wow. And then me and him just decided, let's just keep on doing it. It was fun. I don't know why I did that, but I loved it. Mm -hmm. And for three years after that, all I did was eat, sleep, and breathe boxing. And you were undefeated. Yeah. I didn't want to get hurt. <laughs> what I discovered while I was fighting is that my dad said, look, if I'm going to train you, though, because, you know, um, he's foregoing opportunities to train me and all that, you have to train other people. So mm. for every hour I spent training myself, I spent another four or five training other fighters. Oh, wow. People to lose weight, people who want to be an amateur boxer, whatever, whatever it was. To pay it forward. That was, he insisted. I give it to you, you pass it on. And, um, and it was supposed to reinforce what I learned and make me a better boxer. Long story short, I quickly realized that I liked that more than I liked boxing. Mm. I like working with other people. You'd have to beg me to leave the gym if I was training someone. But if I was working out myself, I'd be begging to leave the gym. Right before I would get ready for, to go out for my fights, my dad would say, do you really want to be here? If you don't, we can call it all off. And I'd be like, I'm not calling this fight off, but I'd be like, I know I'd rather be doing something. Mm. And, but I was stuck in this boxing career, which I didn't feel was the highest, best use of my time. And so- Why did you not think that? It wasn't the highest, best use of my time because if I was training other people, I had 15 people following their dream. When I was a boxer, it was one person mm -hmm. following what wasn't even his ultimate dream. You were able to, at a young age, to decide that what you had in your heart mattered. Yeah. How? I, I, I just knew it because I, lo I loved it. I was happy. I was happy. And the good thing about, the cool thing about training people is that you're giving them like the, the pillars of happiness. I always say like fun, freedom, love, and uh, power, empowerment, the ability that you can accomplish something. If you give those to people, you're gonna feel them yourself. And I, I learned that now, looking back. So in the face of the no's, and in the face of the doubts, and in the face of the, have you lost your mind comments, <laughs> yeah. what kept you going? You know, what kept me going was that the, 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 the good people that knew me um, and took the time to listen to what we were trying to do, they still believed. They always believed, and um, that kept me going. And you believed? And I believed. I knew it. I, I just knew, I don't know. I just, I just knew it was, right, it was the right thing to do.